it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be stuffing up my cash envelopes and my sinking funds envelopes for paychecks of January 7th. We are going to be stuffing $210 into these envelopes. So I have in here a mixture of real and prop money. I use prop money in my seeking funds binder um, primarily because the, the amounts gets pretty large and I don't like holding that much cash on me. Uh, and I have some savings accounts and whatnot that earn a little bit of interest. So a couple of cents here and there for a month. I'd rather have it in there and get a couple of cents than you know have it in my house. So we have. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, one, did I mess that up? I think I did, didn't I? Do I keep missing it up? I keep counting 200 and I know I should have 210. So that's 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So that's, so put it in my calculator, 60 plus 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, Five, six, sixty. Okay, I think I have it right this time. Sixty plus twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred plus one hundred plus fifty. Okay, we have it right. Two fifty. Okay, <laughs> you don't understand how many times I've counted this and came up with two hundred instead of two ten, and then I pulled another ten from. Because I know that's it's the the singing fund money that wasn't right. <sighs> Me and my math skills, man. If I didn't have a calculator. I would probably would not have survived high school or college <laughs> in the math department, at least. Okay, so. Get out my budget here. I'll put these over on this side. Put this here. So we're going to start with food, which will be groceries and where's the other one? Eating out. I have, currently have one, two, three. $3 left in groceries. We're gonna hold on to that until the end of the month. But food is getting $60, so let's grab these 20s. 20, 40, 60. It's going into food. I'm going to hold 20 of that for eating out. Go in there. We go. Then I'm going to hold the other forty and three dollars for groceries. So yay! I still have a good majority of like the stock up the items that you last for more than um, like more than a week left. So I probably, hopefully, only need to spend um, maybe $20 on food, on groceries this week. So next up is toiletries, and that goes into this home envelope, and that is going to get $10. I currently have 20 in there right now, so we're just going to add to it for when I need anything. Uh, this 
this envelope, if I don't use it during the month, it gets rolled over into my Sam's purchases. So we now have $30 in here. That's what was stuffed is $10. So pocket money currently has five, six, seven dollars. Excellent. I like to keep um, each denomination separate. So we are adding $20, but I'm going to put them in tens. So 10, 20. I like to keep each set um, of bills in their own togetherness. Just, just one of my little things. So $20 went into there. Mark it off. Next up is pet, and there currently is $50. So we are going to put I did that wrong, didn't I? Hmm. You know where the extra ten is probably is coming from? Ha, I found it. That's where the extra ten was coming from. Okay. I got it fixed now. The real tin was missing. It was stuck in another envelope. That's why things were driving me nuts. I found it. It was in my um, bank, like envelope that I used to take money to and from the bank. So that is going to be should be eighty dollars, so twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty. That's why that number was throwing me off. So I just pulled one of the one of the um, slips out. So we're good. It's like I was wondering, like I know I had certain amount of cash and it's because it was stuck in the envelope. Didn't pull it out. Okay. So there we go. I haven't bought, needed to buy anything for the dog. Alright, so that is it for all of my cash envelopes that go in my wallet. So these are going to go there after this video. And then on to my sinking funds. So Sam's isn't getting anything. Otto isn't getting anything. K Medical isn't getting anything. Pet isn't getting it. Well, this pet isn't getting anything. This um is rollover from my wallet. So if it doesn't get spent, it gets rolled over in there. Travel isn't getting anything. Giving, no. Miscellaneous. Personal, no. Where is... Oh, yeah, miscellaneous. That's what the one I need. Miscellaneous. Where'd you go? What? Miscellaneous. Uh, there's something wrong here. Miscellaneous is where I put the Amazon Prime money. So that is going to get stuffed in there. So $10 there. It's the miscellaneous is like my legit, like just, I just throw money in there to hold on to it. So let's find my miscellaneous savings fund. There we go. This should have. $80, but does not. One seven. Amazon Prime. That's 10. It should have $90. So 
after this video, I will go in and make sure things are right in the miscellaneous because this should have $90, not just 10. Okay, next up is my $1,000 in 12 weeks. So that is here. And today's is $80. week two. This is another reason why like between bills and this <laughs> I have no money. So 140. So let's make sure. That's 100, 120, 130, 140 is going to be in that fund. Yay! Oh gosh. I'm sorry for all the mistakes, y'all. I'm still getting used to getting back to using cash envelopes and yeah. Whew. It, it's a challenge. Y'all y'all on, on, on YouTube that make it look easy, y'all make it look easy, man. It is not. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!